So I'm going to show you what um, scientists have thought of as being previously impossible. Okay. That is, I'm going to actually do something that's going to appear a little bit like magic. And so is Gary. That is, we're going to attempt to raise our heart rate by 20 beats per minute. Okay. And then we're going to lower our heart rate down below rest by 20 beats per minute. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to lower it, raise it up. Are you ready? Watch this. So it went down to 70s, mine did, went up to 120. Gary's did a pretty similar thing. Yeah. Did everyone notice that? That actually has a serious application because what I did was I first raised my heart rate up by 20 beats per minute. And what that does is it actually stimulates adrenaline, okay, a little bit. And a little surge of adrenaline, what that does is it acts a little bit like an anti-inflammatory. Okay, if somebody has a bee sting and it goes out of control, they'll get something that's called an anaphylactic shock. Loads of swelling, inflammation just go, and they can't breathe, heart rate goes up, and you might even get a heart attack. So what they do is they give a little burst of adrenaline, okay? Like you'd have to carry an EpiPen if you have a, a, allergies to peanuts and things like that. And you do a little jab of the, the EpiPen and that would lower the inflammation, okay? It kind of resets the nervous system a bit, okay? Um, that's what I just did there. I just lowered some inflammation in my body doing that, okay? That means that you don't have to, if you know how to do that, it means you can use this as a daily ritual to lower inflammation in the body, to control your blood, blood pressure as well and your uh, nervous system, to give you a little boost of feel good hormones at the start of the day. And it means that you have control over your stress response in your body. The opposite side, when we lowered my heart rate and my blood pressure and everything, okay, what I did was I did what drug companies do, the way they give you heart medications, like a tenolol to lower your heart rate, or um, they'll give you certain things like ACE inhibitors to uh, lower your blood pressure, okay? Uh, or they'd give you like things like benzodiazepine, Xanax for anxiety. So I lowered it using another technique. And again, it means that you're not dependent on the pharmaceutical companies for your health and happiness. How cool would that be to learn? Would that be cool to learn how to do that? 